Hi, I'm Robert Campbell, Director General of the National Institute of Japanese Literature, NIJL, or NIGEL. Here at NIGEL, we've been collecting materials on Japanese literature and related fields for more than 40 years with a focus on pre-modern Japanese manuscripts, scrolls, and printed books. More recently, we've been collaborating with researchers, librarians, curators, and artists across Japan and around the world to make digital images of Japanese texts available online and more accessible for research as well as creative projects. If you haven't yet, I hope you'll take a chance to take a look at Nigel's database of pre-modern Japanese works, where you can view and also download thousands of digital images of pre-modern Japanese texts in the collections of not just Nigel, but also dozens of libraries and museums in Japan and outside of Japan. We feel fortunate to be collaborating with the Freer Gallery of Art and Arthur N. Sackler Gallery in Washington, D.C., and I'm happy to tell you that digital images of the Freer's collection of illustrated Japanese books, the Pulver Collection, will soon be available on Nigel's database as well. We've created videos showing four special items in the Pulver Collection. Researchers based at Freer, Hosei University in Tokyo, and Nigel, will guide you through the world of 19th century Japanese art and illustrated books. There are also videos of myself reading from a Japanese fairy tale book in the Pulver collection in both English and in Japanese. I hope you'll enjoy them. The videos showcasing four items in the Pulver collection all have something to do with the theme of virtual travel. Virtual travel is actually a long-standing concept in East Asian art. One would hang a landscape painting to travel virtually to distant mountains and rivers without ever having to leave one's room. Now in February 2021, traveling is again not easy, but we're free to travel virtually through the medium of art and literature to real and to imaginary places or even back in time. Dr. Frank Feldens of the Freer Gallery of Art will talk more about the Pulver Collection, but I'd just like to mention that I personally have fond memories from the several trips I took to Germany to catalog the books in this collection. The catalog that my colleagues and I put together is only in Japanese, but it is available online for free, so please check it out. Now, I will hand you over to Dr. Feldens in Washington. Hello, everybody. My name is Frank Feldens. Japan Foundation Assistant Curator of Japanese Art at the Freer Gallery of Art and Arthur M. Sackler Gallery, which together are the Smithsonian's National Museum of Asian Art. Thank you for tuning in to this collaborative project between the Freer and Sackler and the National Institute of Japanese Literature in Tokyo. The Pulver Collection, acquired in its entirety by the Freer Gallery of Art in 2007, includes numerous rare and pristine examples of Japanese illustrated books produced in the Edo period and beyond. For more than 30 years, Dr. Gerhard Pulver, a renowned medical researcher in Germany, and his wife, Rosemary, traveled the world and assembled the collection. Their holdings of more than 900 titles encompass almost 2,200 volumes that range in date from the early 17th century to the 1970s. Today, the Pulver Collection is regarded as one of the most outstanding and comprehensive collections of Japanese illustrated books outside Japan. Since its acquisition in 2007, the Pulver Collection has become a key part of the Japanese art collections at the Freer Gallery of Art and Arthur M. Sackler Gallery. The museum's collection of Japanese art has grown exponentially since the Freer Galleries founded in 1923, now numbering around 14,000 pieces. The breadth of the Pulver Collection, ranging from the dawn of Japan's early modern era to the post-World War II decades, echoes core areas of the larger Japanese art collections at the Freer and Sackler, and is therefore essential to the collections. The Pulver Collection in its entirety is a powerful reminder of the importance of printed books in Japanese culture, their artistic expression, and the allure of words and images all together. We invite you to explore the collection at pulvera.si.edu 
or through the website of the National Institute of Japanese Literature. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Dr. Feltons. When it's safer to travel again, I hope some of you will be able to visit the Freer Gallery in Washington and to also visit us here at Nigel in Tokyo, where we have an extensive library and a small but well-ordered exhibition space. Uh, for now, though, please enjoy our videos in the comfort of your home, office, or wherever you might be.